World history students in Jinx couldn't believe clean drinking water is missing from many underdeveloped countries. As two news problem solver Pete Knutson tells us, they followed the lead of their teacher to make a difference. Dirty, disgusting, and diseased water. It's all millions of children and adults in some third world countries have to drink. When Rick Holmes sees pictures of these kids, he can't help but picture his own. Uh, it's really hard for me to look away from that and not acknowledge that there is a problem and that I've been blessed so much that I can do something about that. So Rick started the water project. He carried around a big water jug, collecting $1,000 in donations for an organization called Charity Water, which drills wells in water-starved countries. More than 70 of his world history students at Jinx High School decided they'd carry jugs too. Some for a day or two or three. Taylor Buxton, though, decided to lug his jug everywhere he went for six weeks. At school, at work, even at the mall. I get stares everywhere I go, you know, walk down the mall. I just see, you know, all the focus went to me. And that was okay by him, Taylor says, as long as it focused attention on the water project. He collected a thousand bucks in donations. Uh, I was raised on the lake, basically, so I can't imagine having to go down to the lake and drink the, you know, the filthy water. It's just, I can't even imagine doing that. Neither could Adriana Sharp. For her 17th birthday, she told friends and family the best gifts she could get would be their donations to the water project. She raised more than $250 to help drill one of those wells in an underdeveloped country. I mean, it was worth a lot more to them than it was to me, so I thought I would just put it to good use. Now, Mr. Holmes and his students can't wait for their total of $4,000 in donations to turn into clear, cool, and clean water making a difference for those who live in a village halfway around the world. Pete Knutson, 2 News, works for you.